हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ शुभांगी वानखेड़े एंड टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट फंक्शंस इन पाइथन सो फंक्शंस वी हैव स्टडी इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस इन पाइथन फंक्शंस आर द सेम कंसेप्ट विच आर इन अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस जस्ट द सिंटैक्स एंड एग्जांपल्स आर वेरिंग सो वी विल सी वॉट आर फंक्शंस इन पाइथन so what is a function function is nothing but it is a block of statements uh, there are few instructions which are blocked together and they work for a specific output and every function has got some specific task to do and the function which has assigned the task it will not do any other task other than that so function is nothing but it is a organized block of statements which are usable and it performs a single and related action okay and the function how it runs it runs only when it is called whenever we write a function it runs only when it is called so we will see how the function is defined so here in python uh, what is the major change in the syntax of uh, defining the function is uh, using def keyword so here def keyword is used to uh, define a function and it is followed by the function name and parenthesis okay so always in all the other programming languages also function uh, name is followed by the parenthesis same is done in python it is followed def keyword is followed by function name and the parenthesis everything uh, we, when we uh, write in a function uh, it ends with the colon okay the colon it tells that the function name and uh, the parenthesis everything has been ended and next uh, uh, whatever will be followed is the uh, body of the function and it starts with the colon also it gives the indentation it says that the when the indentation is given the function of the body of the function is started any input parameters or arguments are placed in the parenthesis as i have said earlier that the function name is followed by the parenthesis so in the parenthesis we can write parameters and or the arguments we will see what is the difference between parameters and arguments okay and the function it uh, ends with the return statement okay whenever the return statement is encountered it says that we can exit from the function body let's see the syntax of the function uh, in python as i've said uh, earlier a uh, def keyword is used uh, to tell uh, the python that this is the function then next is function name it can be any name uh, we can give as it is a user defined function we can give any name to the function and parameters are added inside the parenthesis uh, this is the document string this is optional function suit is also called as function body okay function body we can re, uh, write the task which has to be performed by the specific function return uh, and expression this is also optional we can uh, write uh, only return or any expression which has to be written by the function next is we'll see the example of function here uh, we have uh, declared a function define a function using a def keyword print me is the name of the function as we have already seen in the syntax str is the parameter which we have passed to the function str is nothing but a string which we are going to pass to the function when it will be called okay this is the string which is optional print str here there we have using the print command to print the st str what is str str is the previous string which we have passed to the function and return what it will return the string which we have printed already now how to call a function okay the function can be called uh, by writing a function name along with its parameter okay another function can call the function or directly we can call the function from the python prompt we will see one example how the function uh, we have already written the function definition here as we we have seen it earlier how the function is called here uh, the function name is print me and we have written the function name followed by the parenthesis okay and as we can, you can see it the function is having an argument or a parameter okay so while calling a function also we have to follow that rule while calling a function this argument this is the string okay uh, this print me it should be on the next line okay here print me function is called and to that function this is the argument which we have passed okay so while calling a function as we have mentioned earlier the function has got one parameter and that parameter has to be passed while the function is called okay arguments and parameters okay what are arguments and parameters whenever we uh, we have passed the function uh, we have passed something to the function here we have passed this string right 
this thing is called as argument or parameter when it will be called as argument and when it will be called as parameter we will see okay the parameter is the variable which is listed inside the parameter in the function definition anything here in the example we have seen str so that is the parameter and the string suppose i have written my name shubhangi in the parameter in the str suppose i have written my name that will be called as argument so parameter is the variable name and argument is the actual value of the argument return statement the return statement is uh, nothing but it exits uh, from the function so okay this says that now this is the last statement and we can exit from the function okay here we have seen uh, uh, one uh, example def my function and to that function we have passed x as a parameter here we are returning return 5 into x so here 5 into x x value is the fun uh, any value which will be passed when my function will be called so what this function will return this function is going to return 5 into x x is any value which we are going to pass to the function okay next is a uh, important topic is uh, pass statement pass statement is uh, whenever we are not writing anything inside the function definition then it cannot be uh, sent empty okay so here we will be writing pass statement simple pass statement so function we cannot keep the function body empty for this purpose we can write pass statement so it will not generate any error here in this example i have written a function my function i have defined a function and we have simply written pass inside the function and not any other statement okay next is anonymous function anonymous means anyone which is which is not having name okay the functions are called as anonymous because they are not declared with this keyword as we have seen in python we have to write def keyword in order to define a function when we are not writing def keyword such type of functions are called as anonymous function okay here lambda keyword is used so def keyword is not used which keyword is used lambda keyword is used okay and on to create the anonymous function so lambda it is uh, we will see the syntax lambda will take arguments it can take any number of arguments but in case of expression it is going to take only one expression it is not going to take more than one expression lambda it is going to take any number of expressions uh, any number of arguments but only one expression we will see the example in this example see how how we know that this is anonymous function because lambda keyword is used to the variable sum we have got two arguments arg1 and arg2 because we can take any number of arguments and here this is the expression we are adding the two arguments which are passed to the function so which are the two arguments arg1 and arg2 to this when we will call this function anonymous function we are not going to uh, take lambda again simply in the same manner as the earlier function is called sum will be called because this is the function name this variable will be called as a function name sum and these two arguments arg1 and arg2 so here what uh, will be the output we will be giving arg1 plus arg2 10 plus 20 here we will get the output as 30 and here we'll get the output as 40 okay so uh, this is all about functions we have uh, covered the function definition how to call a function what are the arguments and parameters also pass statement return statement and arguments okay thank you